Next, we deal with the additional longitudinal force caused by the shear load. This additional longitudinal force needs to be resisted by the tensile steel in the member here. This additional forces, delta FT, is caused due to the horizontal components of the diagonal strut. It is calculated by multiplying this force with the cost of data as represented here. It is assumed that half of the force is carried by the tension steel bar. The additional longitudinal force to be resisted by the steel bar it will be equals to half multiply the forces here multiply cos theta. To check if an additional reinforcement area is required to restrain this additional longitudinal force, we may check using this equation. The MED divided by the lever arm Z represents the regional moment near to the support of the member. It is to be added up with the additional longitudinal force caused by the shear load. It is to be checked to be lower than MED maximum along the span. Assuming the amount of reinforcement bar is provided adequately to resist the MED for the member. So you find the forces here greater than this, that means there will be additional reinforcement bar required. Otherwise, you may stick to the same amount of reinforcement bar throughout the member.